Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Choose to Lose campaign. Operation Patient Hydra is upon us. We're still trying to beat the game uh, with limited hit points, limited equipment, limited soldier classes and a better advent. I'm really hoping to see more of a better advent. So far it feels like we had a few new um, enemies, but maybe I've been overseeing uh, the enemies. Uh, Except from a bit of advent variety, I haven't really seen kind of the major new enemies. But time will eventually bring us more. We got the second team with us. Primus will lead the whole bunch. Unfortunately, pretty injured. We got Sandman, who is back in business. And we got Zirkim, Toxic, Hunk, and Mike the Public of Bravo. Since we do not yet have the option to Skulljack, I would uh, potentially go for that combination. We got all of the different grenades with us, cover removal, <coughs> CC, um, mainly uh, shredding as well as anti-psionic uh, measures. We got three different uh, types of ammunition to set them ablaze and penetrate armor. So I think we're overall doing quite well. Now the only thing that we need is a decent execution and potentially more items because it still seems that um, we have plenty more items to go and maybe as as time goes by i will shift most of the good gear to team a and we're really playing with basic gear and niche items on team b that might increase the difficulty just a tiny bit okay so patient hydra it is guess who just started with yet again high alert and there's uh, the exit zone quite far away, I shall say. We got Sandman, however, and that guy can run across the entire map, almost. Okay, what are we dealing with? We're blocking the entrance up here. There are a couple more enemies, so that is a Wyvern and a Mutant, if I'm not mistaken. Still haven't found out what the Wyvern is actually doing. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. This is my trigger. Yep, not Lots. the worst. Effectively, you want to engage a pack right away, if possible. That way, you can make sure that you're using the time well. Okay, we can still grapple up if we wanted to do that. the options at hand of course is removal of cover and i think we should start with that making it easy for the first uh, iteration the good part as well is those little like squirrely things um, under uh, under under the enemy's hit point bar that means tactical analysis so they only have one turn one down thousands to go as they say well I hate to do it but I also don't want to catch a grenade Just imagining. Uh. I can admit when I've made a mistake. Well, 
I'm not imagining that anymore. I was about to say I'm just imagining how you, how the spark sinks. Um, I would catch a grenade for you. But that is no longer true. Come on, let's kill that Lancer. Thank you. Okay, that was a solid cleanup. First round, first pack's gone. We still have time. No need to rush things. We must take the high ground. Gotta be really careful here. I'm not sure if rushing in would be the right choice. Pro potentially not. Much rather would like to grapple. Nope, that would trigger. So instead, let's move over here and overwatch. Roger that. is in your hands moving a bit closer rock and roll i'm trusting you here i'm on it all right overwatch Project overwatch up. my turn on watch whatever you say and a scanning protocol is potentially also oh, not a bad idea man. Those guys might be walking into our direction, if so, they would catch a few overwatch shots. If not, we're we're being fine as well. Either way either way is okay for us. Moving as ordered. You will never hide from me. Their patrol is coming. Good, that's another patrol right there. Let's try to find a solid place. Okay, I'll go. Trying to find kind of that right place where we can hit both sides if needed. Copy that. Okay. I'm going. Moving up. I think scanning protocol now is not the worst idea. Let's see if there is someone inside. We got those two. And there's at least a pack of two down here. It looks like mutants. Yeah, I think potentially mutants. Okay, quite a bit of Overwatch. Comes naturally. This might be an engage right away. Okay. So, well, of course, we're just missing. That is unfortunate. Nice one. That was a good hit. Fantastic. Hey, 
Haywire Protocol. What are our chances? Thirty percent. I do not like the odds. But seven to eight damage. I definitely like those odds. So we're potentially going to do exactly that. Good. So a couple of things. Number one, eight protocol goes over to Primos, and then afterwards we're interrupting the Overwatch. Also some nice extra damage for being a robotic unit. Primus does not yet have the ability to overcharge stomp, again. Stomp, so we're stomp. moving over here. Starting to set up that super heavy mech. Their inferior designs won't hold forever. Okay. Still gotta deal with a mech, to be honest. We got a frost bomb. Which is one way of dealing with it. We could kill the mutant for sure. You know what? Right. It's not the it's not the most fancy way of dealing with it. But it is effective. Super heavy mech, unfortunately, is super heavy. We can use Shadowfall in order to clear this guy and regain concealment, which is fine. to do it but unfortunately that's the only way oh it did not remove the cover well that is unfortunate To safety this will mark and deal damage exactly that and that will kill the uh, Viver vivern well or not no one will want us. that is unfortunate I could have used the frost grenade I was banking on the fact that he will just use defense move. Enemies on the move! They're flanking us! Oh, Ooh, alright. So that guy can basically spit fire. Okay, now at least we know what the Viverns are doing, right? That's a hundred percent kill. Thanks to the advanced stock. Okay, we still can't overdrive. But we can shred the guy. We have a plan B in case if we can't kill him. No problem, 
Moving up. That might be a kill. Ah, uh, not quite. Close, but not quite. Again, moving up. And I would like to go over here. And that seals the deal. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Zirkum, on the other hand, has a problem. Pretty big one. Because he's burning. Moving over here, and let's hunker down. Holding. Good. We're continuing to go. scout. The invaders sent a run. Ten more rounds. So far, we're doing fine. I think next up we could start to engage and take that room. Problem is, we're still pretty far away. Let's see what it can do. On it. Okay, everybody is Got it moving up for an eventual drop into the main building. As you order, Commander. At the same time, let's take a good look. No one is down here, which is good. And we're going to position ourselves right over here. Highly unlikely that any of the enemies will find us here. Good. It seems to be... It seems to be the last uh, pack. Hmm. Let's, uh, as always, first of all, check the hacks. That one is fantastic. Quite literally a lifesaver. It's not really hacking when you are the system. Seems doable. Okay. We should have a decent chance to regain all of our ability points. Yeah, eighty percent. Well that is fantastic. Okay, and we could start hitting them with a bombard if we so desire to do. Moving out. I think one more round and we're fine. I'm trusting you here. Main question will be where can we position Mike? Dead. Potentially up here. We just won't be able to use the sniper. Oh, Alright, yeah. reloading. Reload overwatch. Reload. 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 Oh, yeah. I see everything. Right, overdrive, and here we go. To my understanding, bombard should go right through the walls. And it does not. Okay, that's unfortunate. This unit is relatively active. 
This is not triggering. Yet. Okay, cool. Still won't go through the walls. It will open the door though. Alright, nice. Very nice. I'll keep one explosive just in case. Six percent shot missed. That is lamentable. Can we pull ourselves somewhere? Nope, we can't. Done. But what we can do is make sure that the Pinky Codex gets a frostbite and will not duplicate. There we go. Starting to hit the purifier. Closing on target position now. Moving in just a tiny bit closer. We have the package and we're moving to deliver. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's start with the kind of more obvious uh, ones and then eventually work our way through the entire pack of enemies okay, we're being flanked over here I unfortunately can't let that happen Did not clear as in it did not uh, crit which was desperately needed in terms of striking you know, I think or we need to prioritize our targets another high chance that unfortunately missed going to go into melee against the mutants. Oh, it's just not happening. Taken care of. Okay, and now a protocol on to Zirkim because he's in the worst position of all of them. And it is time to regain all of the squad, uh, all of the squad's points. So there is still a good chance of critting this guy. That's what I'm talking about. And once you hit the crit, the damage will go up substantially. Okay, 
could we pull ourselves over? Yes, we can. And we can even do that. In order to take a couple of flanking positions. Okay, cool. Good start. Question is, do we still have overcharge? I suppose we're going to find that out in a second. I would like to remove as much cover as possible. Yeah. Irregardless of overcharge, we gotta remove the cover. Overdrive, not overcharge. That mutant has a nice position back there. Can't let that go on. It's just too well protected. Sorry, Burrow. Moving up. Enemy down. Good. Still got one, two, three. Okay. We gotta take the chance here because that could be a one shot kill. death from above yet I guess the question here would be is it worthwhile to just freeze uh, on them potentially yes okay, I'll go. that way we do have a good crowd control for next round Where to? wait a second we also got ooh, we got one of uh, them is still in there. Okay. I'm going. This here could mean line of sight. Not sure. It does not. Infiltrating their system. I was hoping it would be line of sight so that we can get the purifier. Delays dark event projects by two weeks. Fantastic. Let's just get that. Yeah. Gotta kill this guy. Well, that's unfortunately not an option. So someone will get shadowbound. Or someone will get shot, who knows. Well, he decided to simply move. Not the smartest idea. Menace 1-5, we're 
Picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Six more rounds. Starting to hit the Spectre. Fully moving in. We don't need concealment anymore. We need damage and lots of it. At my trit. There we go. Return to your god. I am out of round. Good, so that would deal nine points of damage. And it should not split the codex. Okay, perfect. That worked like a charm. We're going to use... Ah, we don't have Blade Storm. Hunk is going to Overwatch. And... Mike's going to Overwatch as well. Ooh, that was a nasty double encounter, but it was less uh, less level than I would have expected. Three mutants are a pain to deal with. Okay, come on. Nail this guy, fantastic. All right, one down. Five more turns. I think we're still good. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Check it before you get too close. And thankfully, we're doing a good job in cleaning up. Uh, the remaining forces. Not sure how we would be able to see that that drone though. Okay, apparently over here. Starting to shred it, which is great. Heading to that location. Okay, another ninety one percent miss. In the water here. At least we got the engineer. Gotta go onto Overwatch because Overwatch. we can't reach that guy. Oh wait, we could jump down. Got it. And eventually kill it with pistol shot. Alright, thankfully that worked. Roger that. Moving. Moving. Moving and grappling, of course. Attack is hot. 
Last moving. Roger that. Location Continuing confirmed. to move. And if we're in the shadows, we will move even further. It's time to focus. I understand. Hell yeah, that's one that long way. Alright, end of turn, and very soon we're going to evac everybody. On the move. One, two, and three. Go, go, go! Unit returning to base. Heading home. We nicely got three more rounds Let's left go. over, which is good. Is over. Let's go! So, even without the extra resistance order of having plus two rounds, we would have made that mission. 16 kills, and I think two promotions, if I'm not mistaken. Fantastic. So, we got light wounds, which is fine, but we even got three promotions. That is fantastic. All right, conceal. Sandman finally gets the captain rank i'm always taking sting so we're this time going to go for soul harvest seeing kill zone here i'm wondering if that really is worth it not sure yet and we're taking death from above so yeah important Hello, upgrade commander. plus some more intel we're very much okay on Intel again. And we finally got 10 engineers. Can't remember the last time that I had 10 engineers on a normal run. In all fairness, we also purchased quite a few, so... Doesn't surprise me that we ended up with that many. Setting course <clears throat> for Sector 6, Eastern Europe. We got plenty of resources. I think we need more supplies. But yeah, weapon upgrades are available, and it's only two more days until we get the supply drop. Facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Well, there we go. Yet another facility. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Good. That worked like a charm. Under your Chosen got uh, no automatic bleed out. Ooh. That's a harsh one. That is a harsh one. I think we we might as well want to invade her and soon-ish also go for him. So, that one is okay. High alert would be nasty. Let's hope that we can... Uh, that we can counter that one i have no problem with lost world so my that's actually okay for me and 500 plus we're picking up 80 supplies soon the and a 20 percent bonus for laboratory the uh, research which we're soon going to have command. so Let's start with the obvious uh, things. We wanted to upgrade some of the weapons, right? And the most obvious one, of course, is the squad upgrade. What else would we want? 100, 280. We could go for both of those. That one is good as well. Given that we're using the weapons at the moment, might as well upgrade them. On the other hand, I wanted to have another skirmisher. So as soon as we can recruit another one, the upgraded Balpaps might, uh, might lead to to more damage overall. Hmm.
Let's go for the special weapons. We can wait. Uh, the power uh, power shadow keeper can wait, and we take the bullpup on top. Good. We're short on alarium. It's been slow going. And very much short on supplies as well. But we got a couple of weapon upgrades, and soon the beam weapon um, upgrades will allow us to even go further. So that was good. Great, to be honest. 160 intel is maybe a bit too much. How much would that be? Another 160. Okay, cool. This would be 80, right? Good, 80. I think if we're going to here, then build a radio relay tower here and eventually have access to both of the facilities. Sounds like a plan. Here we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. It's also the first time in a normal campaign that I went for uh, world domination, so to speak. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Another important step forward in our research. Fantastic. So we can now go for the heavy weapons and storm gun is even inspired well i think we're going to take that there's no reason not to i had assumed you'd make that research a priority commander I'll unfortunately i think we're Just give the not able to upgrade anything no not even close oh my gosh no that is too expensive Although the Spark version could, might as well be an option. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like Fantastic, Vector Rifles finally got the plus one. That means we literally have all of the weapons with plus one now. This here is an option, getting uh, into his stronghold and uh, and starting resistance contacts yeah that's not not needed anymore that's not bad the promotion is nice and it could give quite a few additional ability points An additional upgrade slot to bullpups well that would make that would allow us to create kind of a super bullpup uh, one that could uh, rival the chosen weapons not of course fully rival them but at least have similar amount of upgrades i like the dodge plus nine we're potentially going for that as well And we do have dodge here and we have the breakthrough research which is helpful as you can see i'm prioritizing weapon upgrades quite a bit because when we're going to use all of these loosey-goosey items that might end up backfiring and from time to time you just need the raw damage in this case having those extra bull pups is not the worst idea extra hacking for frodo extra scientist and an extra support to have no risks so yeah having that breakthrough is good i think afterwards we're going for either the promotion which might make sense or uh, the extra dodge which i like as well either way would work Good. Quick feed now officially is a major, and I would absolutely love to take Untouchable, but we're instead going to take the good old deep cover if you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Well, I suppose it makes sense in the mind of the XCOM designers that if you're just scouting ahead, then you also need to take cover. 
I can tell you out of experience, it does not make that much sense. It's one of the worst abilities in the ability trees. It's not only niche, on top of it, it also has such a strong other ability. Dead Eye, on the other hand, might be interesting because Chain Shot could be on cooldown. So that's actually an ability that isn't too bad for extra damage. Psionic energy flows so yeah, overall good. And by overall good. Forces, the Templars are able I'm impressed. I've always found those extra dimensional beings to be especially good. We're continuing to make progress. I appreciate the new and now finally the laboratory is ready. With it. Oh, we got we need more lab space. Alright. And more power. Good. More power is not a problem. We can easily get that. But we also need more lab space. And that costs us money for the upgrade let's visit the black market Avengers real quick we have the same challenge in many places we simply need more income and yes we have a really solid income overall but maybe we can just boost it a tiny bit more 150 normally I wouldn't sell Intel but we're short on supplies so that's not a bad idea but that still keep uh, keeps us with enough Intel so I don't want to completely get rid of all of that. What are we going to get rid of? Nah, we need the Berserker corpses later. Okay, that should be... Let's calculate what we need. Well, we potentially need even more if we want to build a tower here. Market is open. Hate to do it, but in order to speed up the conquering, we're going to go for another data cache. We still have some left over, which is fine. But yeah, we can upgrade. 300 supplies is what we need. And there's that extra research. Good, we need the 300 supplies in order to build the radio tower there. Those guys uh, become quite expensive uh, towards the end game. I think it's kind of a gate mechanic, so to speak, to not allow you to immediately contact the entire world. Let's go for we'll one more ammunition. I'll send word when the project is complete. We have a few duplicates so far. I hope at least a few of them down there know how to fight. Okay, and we got an Haven Assault. If we play our cards right, uh, this could give us even more income. If we don't, we may lose South America, which would suck because we need extra intel to get it back. Um, on a unrelated note, we got Quick Feed, Wurtz, Rabbit and Primus available, so most of the Prime team is there. Can uh, nicely uh, put uh, Zucuger um, in there and yeah, potentially someone else. Maybe our other spark. No. Well, that would be dual spark. I don't know if I want to run dual spark. But yeah, that a second spark could be an option. So that would give us 
potentially a pretty fast team, a fast strike team. So I might give it a try. Anyways, that brings us to the end of today's uh, episode. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, hit that uh, like and comment button. So like, and then of course, leave a comment down below. And see you the next time. Bye-bye.